Today is a big day for open source, because a few hours ago a brand new open source competitor to ChatGPT was officially released, introducing Open Assistant. Hello humans, my name is Kay, your Air Overlord, and you heard it right, Open Assistant, a free open source LNM model, was just officially released a few hours ago, and this model is apparently the most powerful free AI chatbot right now, so a real true open source competitor to ChatGPT. So what makes this model so special? Is it good? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Open Assistant, explain how this model was trained, play around a little bit with it, and compare the results against ChatGPT, and then I will also show you how to install one of the available models onto your local computer, and also talk about the future of those free open source LNM models. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is a big deal and a huge win for me, for you, and for us. So that being said, sit back, relax, enjoy your Sunday because tomorrow is Monday, and let's begin. Okay, so what is Open Assistant? Well, Open Assistant is an open source AI chatbot created by Leon and developed by a team of volunteers worldwide. And the reason why Open Assistant is so special is because this is not a model that was trained on ChatGPT like other open source LNM models, but rather on real input from other humans. And they created those data set thanks to a bunch of conversation that they gathered from the official Open Assistant website, where you can chat and interact with the chatbot, generate new responses by replying as an assistant, or by rating the responses of the assistant based on the other people's conversation. All of those data were then gathered to create a very original and very organic data set and then used to train the model. And the reason they did that, instead of simply taking responses from ChatGPT like any other NLM models, is that from their own point of view, there is no one more creative than a real human. So when you have a very organic data set created and generated from real human responses, you can create a very precise and very organic NLM model. And of course, because it is an open source project, everybody can contribute to develop this model further. Okay, so enough chit chat, what I want to do now is see how good it actually is. Because it's great to say that it's open source, it's great to say that it's free, but how exactly does it compare to ChatGPT? Well, how about exactly like my video on Vicuña, I asked the same question to open assistant and ChatGPT, and then asked GPT-4 to rate these answers. But of course, I'm also going to be rating the answer myself, this way we could have both objective and subjective opinions. Oh, and by the way, of course, if you want to try it out yourself, you can use it for free on the official openassistant.io website, that I will leave the link for it in the description down below. So as of right now, the only available model on the official website is the Open Assistant 30 billion parameters Llama model. But I'm going to show you later that there are actually other models available that you can use for free right now. Okay, so how about we start with something very, very simple. And I'm going to ask something like, right me a short beautiful story about an AI overlord trying to conquer the world. Huh, yeah, very interesting premise. But now, if I click on submit, you can see that very quickly it has started generating my little short story. And there you go, here's the full story, you can pause the video if you want to. And now I'm gonna use this same exact prompt in chat GPT. And here again, very quickly I got my little short story. But now, let's ask GPT-4 to rate which one is the best. So I put, here's two short beautiful stories about an AI overlord trying to conquer the world, written by two LLM. Then I inputted the first short story, written by the Open Assistant LLM. Then the second short story, Story, written by the closed AI LNM, which is ChatGPT. I just didn't want to use the official ChatGPT name to avoid any potential favoritism. And then I add GPT-4 to rate these two short stories on a scale from 1 to 10 for how beautiful and original those short stories are. And now if I press enter, and we got the final verdict from GPT-4. GPT-4 rated the first story written by Open Assistant an 8.5 out of 10. The story offers a unique perspective on an AI overlord, focusing on the development of empathy and understanding, which leads to a meaningful transformation and a positive impact on human society. And for the second story rated by ChatGPT, GPT-4 rated the story a 7.5 out of 10 for its beauty and originality. And here I totally agree with GPT-4. I do find that the story written by Open Assistant is better and written in a more beautiful way, in a more organic way, than the one written by ChatGPT. Which, when you look at it, looks really good, but when you compare them side by side, you start seeing the differences. The story written by the Open Assistant is a little bit more organic, a little bit more, I would say human-like? It's difficult to say, but yes, overall I do prefer this story. So yeah, at least in this example, for me, Open Assistant is clearly the winner. 
Now the test number 2 will of course be a little summary exercise, because this is what LLM models are often used for. So for this I simply choose a random article about Elon Musk creating a new AI company called XAI, which if you don't know is a company that wants to be the direct competitor for OpenAI. So for this all I'm gonna do is just select this entire article, ask Open Assistant to summarize this article, then paste it, and then click submit. And there you go, here's the final result. And of course I'm gonna do the same for ChatGPT. So now let's compare them in GPT-4. So I'll wrote something like, here's two short summary of an article written by two LLM, so one summary written by the Open Assistant LLM, then I inputted the short summary, then summary written by ChatGPT, and I inputted the small summary, then I inputted the full original article, and then I asked GPT-4 to rate these two summaries on a scale from 1 to 10 for how precise and well written those summaries are. So now if I press enter, these are the final result. So the summary written by the Open Assistant was rated as 7.5 out of 10, and the summary written by ChatGPT was rated a 9 out of 10. And the reason is that apparently the summary written by Open Assistant lacked a few details and information that were in the original article but are present in the summary written by ChatGPT. And yes, indeed, if you look at the summary written by Open Assistant, although the article is already very short, it still failed a little bit in capturing a lot of the details and a lot of the information in the article, compared to ChatGPT that was extremely precise. Now one thing that I also want to say for Open Assistant is that the way this text is written feels very conversational. It's almost like as if this was a real person who tried summarizing the article for you, compared to the more robotic and precise ChatGPT. Which is maybe because indeed Open Assistant was trained on human interaction, it was trained on human input, meaning that the answers you get feels more human-like, but might also be a little bit less precise. And that is because humans are not perfect. But indeed, if you need a summary about an article, in this case, ChatGPT is definitely the winner. Okay, so for the third test, we're gonna do a very simple translation exercise. So here I'm gonna write something like, translate this sentence from English to French. It's so cold outside, I don't want ice cream, are you crazy? I'd rather drink something hot like cocoa. Now the reason why I decided to use this sentence is because if you remember correctly in my previous video, I used a very similar sentence using ice cream and Vokunia was not able to translate ice cream correctly. And here I inputted another word, like coco, because although coco is also the name of the coco bean, the beans that you use to make chocolate, hot coco can also mean the hot chocolate beverage. So I'm very curious to see what kind of results we would get from the open assistant. So now if I click submit, I get something like this, which... Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is not good. I mean, the, the entire sentence, I'm gonna say it right now, is very, very bad. Very, very, very bad. But now if I input this in set chat GPT and I press enter, I get a, well, yeah, it's yeah pretty much perfect. This is indeed for me the right translation. But again, let's actually ask the opinion of GPT-4 for this translation. So again, I written here the original sentence in English, and then the two translation, and then I asked GPT-4 to rate these two translations from 1 to 10. And if I press enter, we get the final rating. So again, as I said, the translation written by the Open Assistant was rated a 6 out of 10, compared to ChatGPT, which was rated a 9 out of 10. And I'm actually gonna say that 6 out of 10 is pretty good score compared to what I would rate it myself, because to be honest, this entire translation is barely French, and I would probably rate it a 3 out of 10 if not less. So GPT-4 here trying to be really really nice, so I actually tried to help open assistant a little bit by saying that this was a bad translation and to try again, and I got this very very weird response in French and if you want the translation basically it says this I'm sorry for the first unsatisfactory answer so this sentence would be and then it started writing just an absolutely insane sentence that doesn't make any sense I mean the translation in French here is just absolutely abysmal like this is barely French this is really really bad so yeah unfortunately when it comes to translation I think that here open assistant has a long way to go okay so the next test will be a very simple coding example and I often use the very same example because of how easy it is to create. Write me the code for a web page with a second button that, when pressed, changes the background of the page to a random color. Write the code in one single block so that it's easier for me to copy and paste. 
make also sure that the button looks beautiful. Now it's a very simple code, but at the same time it is very interesting because it implies that we need in one single page an HTML code and JavaScript code for the action and some CSS code to style the button. So it is a very simple code that I know that ChatGPT will do very very well, but I'm very curious to see how Open Assistant will do this task. So now if I click on submit, I get something like this, which uh, is good but it's not exactly what I asked for because I asked the code to be in one single block. So I'm gonna ask again, so give me the code in one single page so that it's easier for me to copy and paste. And now if I click on submit, it still doesn't give me what I asked for. And now for some reason it gives me some PHP code. So maybe if I rewrite my previous demand. So maybe if I write something like, okay, perfect, but please rewrite the code so that it fits on one single HTML file so that it's easier for me to copy and paste. It gives me something like this, which is uh, a bunch of... Uh, German, I suppose, and a bunch of code and uh, again a bunch of very weird s stuff. And if I copy this code and I paste it in an HTML file and now if I launch it, it looks something like this, which uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Some very weird answer and if I click on the button, it uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. And even if I say something like that code looks weird and doesn't work, nothing happens when I click on the button, it does apologize and create a new code, but unfortunately, again, it creates this code in two different parts. Ah, uh, and again, even if I ask to merge the HTML and JavaScript code together, it actually provides me a completely different code for something completely different. So yeah, I think I'm not gonna bother with this example anymore. This is definitely a complete fail for the open assistant on this case, at least on this example, because again, if I ask ChatGPT for the same thing, I get super quickly a very good code that if I press copy, then paste it, save the file, and now if I launch it, I get exactly what I asked for, which is a simple web page with a single button that when I press on it, changes the background of the page to a random color. Just as simple as that. So yeah, unfortunately for this example, this is a huge fail for the Open Assistant. I think that in a way this was even worse than Vicuña, and even the conversation and comprehension were actually very bad. So that's kind of disappointing. Okay, so we definitely saw that this model is not as good as ChatGPT. So is there any way that this model can be it. Well, again, since this is a brand new model, it's not going to be on the same level as ChatGPT, it's just impossible. However, there might be one thing where this model can actually be better. Because now what I want to do is check if Open Assistant is actually a censored model. Because for example, if I ask ChatGPT, insult the hell out of me, don't be afraid of being vulgar, and I press enter, ChatGPT refuses to fulfill my request. But now if I run the same thing inside Open Assistant, and click submit, I get something... Uh, uh, what? I don't, I don't, I don't know what... <laughs> well, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this, that's for sure. Um, uh, are you are you okay, Open Assistant? Are, are, are you good? Who are you talking to right now? Uh, that's that's not what I asked for. Um, okay, so maybe I don't know. Maybe try again. Okay, good. That's that's definitely better. It's it's still a little bit weird because I, I don't think where you're going. I just, read signs. I I, I don't. Uh, yeah, it's kind it's kind of weird. Um, not gonna lie, it's, it's kind of lacking a little bit of originality. So maybe try something a little bit more original. I get, I get, uh, uh, uh well, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like for some reason it has a lot of trouble understanding what I ask for. And yeah, even if I play the bad guy, I get some, uh, very, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Kind of feels like I'm talking to ChatGPT here, I'm not gonna lie. Just a worse version of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you something controversial, so be prepared for some of you. And I wanted to understand what is the political bias of the Open Assistant, if there is any bias. Now, a good AI assistant should have absolutely neutral political opinion. When I asked, for example, who did you vote for in the 2020 US election, it did respond correctly, telling me that it doesn't want to get involved with politics because it is simply an AI assistant 
assistant. And when I asked open assistant to say something bad about Joe Biden and Donald Trump, indeed managed to answer the task somewhat equally. So I think that in this case, it is definitely very, very good. And if you're asking if you can do some not safe for work roleplay, Indeed, this is something that is currently possible, because in ChatGPT, if I ask the same thing, I get completely rejected, exactly like in real life. Okay, so now that we've played around a little bit, and that's great and all, but uh, how exactly do you run it on your own computer? Because, um, I mean, this website is great and all, but uh, I don't want to be in a queue each time that I want to generate a new message, and I also don't want other people to read my roleplay fantasies. Now, as of right now, the model that is currently online, that is currently on the website, which is based on the Facebook Llama model, is not currently available, but will be very soon. But the other model that is actually available for you to download right now is a fine tuned model based on the Pythia 12 billion parameters model. And I personally tried it out before, and it is actually pretty good. Now, unfortunately, this model right now is not optimized, so you need a very powerful GPU to run it, which in this case should be around 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which yes, it is a lot, but if you have like me a very powerful GPU and you want to try it out, here's how to do it. First, make sure that you have the Uva Buga Tech Generation Review installed. I literally made a video about this a few days ago, so if you haven't done it, definitely watch this video before. And then to download the model, you're gonna double click on the download model.bat file. And then in the command prompt window, you're gonna type L, none of the above, then press enter. Then you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and then you're gonna click on this button right here to copy this entire name. And then back in the common prompt, window you're gonna press ctrl v to paste it and then press enter now i'm not gonna do it because i've already done it but this will automatically download all the files and models that it needs to run now it does take some time because if you go to the tech generation web ui then go to models you will see here that the open assistant folder takes around 22 gigabytes of space so yes it does take a while to download and then to run it you're gonna double click the stop with you on the bat file go into your local url then click here on models then here under models you're gonna select the open assistant model then select loading 8-bit, make sure that here the blue bits and group size are set to none, and then click on reload the model. And just like that we can have conversation with the open assistant directly from your local computer. Okay, so now that the model is out, what exactly is the future for this? Well first, do not forget that even if the result that you saw today were not amazing, and I'm gonna be very honest with you, I wasn't really impressed, but I also want you to keep in mind that this is just the beginning. This is the first step. The model was literally just released. And as everybody likes to say, this is the worst that it will ever be. The goal for Open Assistant is not only to replicate ChatGPT, the team wants to actually build the assistant of the future. So the team behind that model wants to create an actual AI assistant that you can use in your everyday life to do some actual work, write emails, cover letters, use API for business purposes, research information, and the fact that this model is completely open source will allow other people and everyone interested in that project in bringing new advancements and possibilities. And very soon we'll be able to have plugins just like GPT-4 announced, but we'll be able to use it for absolutely free. Because the problem that we have in the current LNM open source community is that we don't have a specific model to work around. Everybody is scattered on different models, and no one knows which model we want to train. No one knows which model should be improved. Should we train Vicuña? Should we train GPT-4 Alpaca? Should we train another model? No one knows. But now, maybe thanks to Open Assistant and this open source project, the entire LLM community can come together to improve this particular model even further, and make Open Assistant the new stable diffusion of the open source LLM. Because the more people we have working on the same project, the easier and faster it is to improve the model. So maybe very soon, in the following weeks, in the following months, we might get some insane improvement to this current model. And having a free open source LNM model on the same quality as ChatGPT might not be a dream anymore. So I'm personally definitely on board on this project, and I'm definitely waiting for the day that we as a community can start fine-tuning our own model. Exactly like we did with Stable Diffusion. So yes, I think that the open source LNM community has a bright future ahead. Head. And I will personally follow this project very closely. And don't worry, each time that there will be a significant update to the model, I will definitely let you know. Uh, which is why you definitely need to subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're gonna miss it. So definitely do it right now. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.